Antoine, welcome back to the Australian Ballet with a really beautiful work of Wayne McGregor's, Obsidian Tear. What attracted me so much to the work was the atmosphere on stage and what's created, uh, not only choreographically but musically, with Esa Pekka Salonen, a Finnish composer, and one that Wayne hasn't worked with too much, but you know, what was Wayne's inspiration with Esa Pekka and sort of how you see it going into the studio? Um, setting the choreography on the dancers to the music. So Wayne had worked with Essa Pekka's music before, uh, before he created this work on a piece in Stuttgart. Um, so he was very, you know, he was a fan of his work mm -hmm. to start off with. And then he was there when Nix, the second piece, which is an orchestral work, um, premiered in Paris. And I think for Wayne it was like such a, like almost like a visceral experience that he says that he knew immediately he wanted he wanted to work with with it and make a make a piece in terms of bringing it to the studio i think the score is so dense and so difficult that it yeah it's it's a lot of counts it's a lot of very specific mm -hmm. you know specific points um, but at the same time there is also like a lot of freedom i guess for the conductor to kind of be able to kind of play around with 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 what has been created. So I think what's, is di what's difficult, particularly in this work, is that there's so many layers. There is the steps, which are, as all of Wayne's works, a lot, there's a lot of material to take in. There's not many unisons. Um, um, and then also this connection of having to make sure that they're really connecting to what's happening musically which isn't, you know, yes, there is the counts and there is like a structure that you have to stay with, but then also be really in the moment and really listen to what the music gives you. But mm. it will kind of evolve and it will change. And, you know, I guess it's also a work that's so emotional that I think the whole orchestra feels, you know, there's like, it's, yeah, it's a visceral experience. And I think for everyone involved, performers, orchestra and the audience, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So I want to speak about your vital role in connecting the choreographic structure to the dancers because the dancers don't know this work. So you are, you know, that person carrying the torch, teaching them not only the choreography but the essence of the piece, you know, how it will develop, how it will go on stage. Tell me a little bit about your process. I mean, when Wayne works with or even choreographs, he works with the people that are in front of him um, and is able to kind of really take out their strengths. Mm. When I stage work, I try and bring that to the studio as well. I think it's very important to, for all the dancers to find their own voice in the, in the choreography. And if that's different to what the original dancers were doing not choreographically, so not in terms of steps, but their interpretation and how they embody the work. I think that's a really important part of my job. Yeah. It's the feeling that the dancers bring to it. It's the, it's, yeah, it's the intensity and the intention that, that will make us believe that what's happening, rather than focusing on what dancers often are asked to focus on, which is on a series of steps with a series of counts. So for me, it's always that, that's always baseline. This is, should be done very quickly, and then I try and move away from this as, as fast as possible. So I very often close the curtain, and I don't allow them to have one focal point of themselves, of what they think it should be look like in the mirror in mean. the mirror because they're then obviously looking for what they usually look look for when they're looking in the mirror shape of the foot exactly shape of the head exactly and so in a way all this is like i want them to play more in terms of getting the material and making it their own and experiment so as an audience member what is the experience of obsidians here what is you know when when the audience sits down and um, they experience it as a whole, not just when the curtain goes up, but when it goes down. What is, what is their experience in your opinion? I think, it's, I think it's a very unexpected work in terms of Wayne's canon, uh, if you like. 
there is kind of like um, suggestion of narrative, which people feel that they can understand or that they can grab onto, then there's a little more ambiguity uh, within this. But there's a few moments that I think are so emotionally, you know, that really bring out emotion from what you see on stage that I think it's hopefully I th it'll be something that people will will think about and also again maybe look at what dance is and what dance can be and yeah and also the costumes talk to me a bit about the costumes because there's an obvious theme thematic color which is red but there's a little bit of variation and so tell me how how Wayne evolved the costume. So he worked with a um, with a uh, fashion director, Katie Schillingford, who basically put like a collection together of different designers of that year. I mean, for me, like the black and the red really shows the sense of community and the outsider that obviously comes from another community. Um, and how that kind of like yeah, juxtaposes yeah. Um, in the work. Yeah. This isn't a trick question, but how do you find the energy in the room you know, at the Australian Ballet? You've obviously expressed positive sentiment to me, but tell me what is the energy like with the dancers in you? I think there's always a sense of curiosity. I feel with this piece in particular, not, I mean, I think because the, the work is so different also, I think uh, dancers are coming ready. They're really ready for the challenge. I think we're, we're experiencing some moments that are, oh, this is harder <laughs> than it looks. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I know that they're all kind of like taking the challenge in. They're giving 150%. And that's something that I've always experienced here. Mm. There's, there's just an energy about this place which is, which is just, yeah, just great. So it puts, it puts people that come here, I always feel at ease. Mm. You know, I always feel that I can have a really open relationship with everyone and we can talk, we can be honest, we can, and that's always like, that's always the, tr like, you know, the secret to a good relationship, yeah. I guess. And I know Wayne's experience also has always been mm. the same. Mm. To come and work with the dancers and just the openness and, yeah, and honesty, it's brilliant. Great. Well, Antoine, thank you for setting this beautiful work on the dancers. Can't wait for audiences to share it musically, choreographically, atmospherically. It's a really, really beautiful addition to the repertoire. So thank you for choosing to come here Thanks and not someone else. <laughs> and great chatting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.